Okay, welcome. We're talking about interior and exterior angle measures of, we could say, polygons, shapes. Basically, where this comes from, if you're looking at a figure, let's just look at a look at a square to start or some sort of four-sided figure, whether it be a square or a rectangle. Uh, in a square, you know it has 360 degrees because it has the four 90-degree angles, but that's not where we kind of come up with the idea of how many or our equation, our equation for sum of interior angles. Now, basically what I've just showed you is I've been able to take this square and with a diagonal from one vertex to another, drawing lines that don't intersect, I've been able to create one, not one, but two triangles. And we know each triangle has 180 degrees. And if we have two triangles, we have a total of 360 degrees within that within that four-sided shape and if I wanted to find out how many were in each or each angle then I would just divide by the number of sides and I have four sides meaning each angle is 90 degrees now notice I I multiplied by two when I had a four-sided figure so let's look at maybe a five-sided figure, like a pentagon. Not the best shape, but you know what we're doing here. How many triangles am I able to create using, let's clean this up a little bit, using lines that don't intersect? So I'll draw a line from this vertex to this vertex and from this vertex to this vertex. Notice I've been able to draw one, two, three triangles. So with a five-sided shape, I have three triangles. With a four-sided shape, I had two triangles. Notice the pattern. There's usually two less triangles than there are number of sides. And being that each triangle is 180 degrees, we could just simply multiply by 180 degrees. So if I had an octagon, and I know that has eight sides, I would just do eight minus two times 180 and get my sum of angles. So this is the first part of your, of your equation, which gives you sum of, I'm going to abbreviate a little bit here, interior angles. Now, if they're asking or ever looking for just the one angle itself, if they're asking what is this or how many degrees is, is this angle here, which you would see mainly on an SAT, well, you just take that sum of interior angles that you got, like we did here, and you just divide, divide by the number of sides. So for our... Uh, pentagon here, you simply just did 5 minus 2 times 180, which gives you your sum of interior angles, 3 times 180, 540, and then you just divide by the same amount of sides, you get 3 times 180 divided by 5, and then let's bring this over here, 540 divided by 5, and we get 108 for each angle. Uh, common mistake students make because they get a three here, all of a sudden they'll change this number to a three and they'll start dividing by three and they'll, they're, you know, why, why am I not coming with the right answer? Well, make sure you continue to use the same size that you were working with. Um, this is interior. Let's take a quick look at exterior and the way I like to explain this is looking both at a at a square let's say and i not even know if this is the right way of explaining it but it makes sense to me maybe it'll make sense to you if i start here and i'm driving or walking and i make a right i've turned 90 degrees i made another right 
turned 90 degrees, made another right, turned 90 degrees, and then I made this last right here, I've turned another 90 degrees. Basically what I've done is I've come full circle. So anytime you have a shape, whether it be a square or a pentagon, and you're looking at these exterior angles, which is created by drawing, drawing a line off one side of the figure and coming up with this angle here. And if you see this, this regular polygon, well, it doesn't look so regular when I draw it, but just imagine so. Each of these exterior angles that I've created, all five exterior angles, this one, this one, this one, will basically end up coming full circle 360 degrees. So I'm, if I'm looking to see how many degrees each angle is, I'm just simply dividing by the number of sides. And uh, in this case, I have 360 divided by five, which goes in all right, what do we got, seven there? 72 degrees for each. So that means each of these angles, if I were to walk around some maybe wacky time, maybe in Times Square, New York, I'm able to walk around and come full circle. Each turn I've made is about 72 degrees. So you have your you have your formulas, equations that we've we've got from this, where you have your sum of interior angles, and then you have where you're looking for each one, where it's it's pretty much the same, but you're just dividing by the number of sides. So this is each interior. And then lastly, you have the one where you're looking at your exterior angles, where you're just taking the 360 as your exterior angle measures.